Hey everybody, today is Tuesday, the 8th of November, and I was just thinking, um, I, I, I read quite a bit of science fiction, military science fiction especially. Uh, Star Wars is effectively military sci-fi, if you will, though it has very little science in it. But anyways, um, it's more historical fiction, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Anyways, that, that's neither here nor there. So, uh, I, I, I usually read quite a bit of science fiction novels, military science fiction in particular. I like the Wing Commander series, the, the Rogue Clone series. Uh, both of those are amazing runs of books. And, and there's been some other here and there. Um, I'm not fond of a certain perception of the civilians. Now, I understand this comes from a military perspective, and I get it. Uh, it's... There is a mob mentality when it comes to telling the public about what your military is up to. You know, they either all react... There's mixed reactions, obviously. But you're going to get massive groups of people who are pissed off or pleased or whatever. Uh, and you look at these things... I'm, I'm trying to come around it and, and it's not coming out right. Um... Right, so you get these books where, uh, like in Star Voyager Academy, you have this space academy in orbit of the moon that trains thousands of 16 to 22-year-old kids, essentially, to be uh, members of the space service, all right? And they go up there at 16 for a summer. Some of them wash out. Some of them stick around. And from then on, they're, you know, they, they're in the service as soon as they show up, pretty much. And you get this perception in the book. This is a military organization. They're constantly at odds with politicians and your average civilian. They're always stuck in the middle between the politics of what they're doing and the morality of what they're doing. Uh, I mean, it, it is the, 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 the military conundrum, if you will. Doing what you're told to do and doing what's right are not always the same thing. And, you know, politics pull the strings of the military. That's just how it works. So, th there's, there's always this picture in military science fiction of the hand-wringing politician. Uh, the, the civilians who, oh, we shouldn't go out that far because it's dangerous and our children will die. And I'm sitting here going, but that's progress people die when people take chances like the wild west when uh you know we're fulfilling our manifest destiny here in the united states we want to go straight to the west coast of these united this this great land of ours uh known as america and we're gonna build cities across the whole thing you know people died on that trip in case you didn't notice Oh, hand-wringing civilian. You know, so I don't get it. People died to get us where we are. People will die to get us to where we're going. I mean, yeah, I get it. Yeah, it sucks. It really sucks. But, I mean, that's no reason to get in the way. I don't know if I'm coming across clearly enough on this. The hand-wringing civilian irritates the crap out of me. It's like... Who would have known that milk was delicious if they didn't go to the cow and say, oh, I think I'll drink that? You know, it could have been poison. Which, by the way, is why the Romans didn't eat tomatoes for the longest time. Because the tomato plant is poisonous, whereas the tomato is not, from what I can tell. It's a... a, a it's a... Uh, it's the type of plant that it is. It's a... It's deadly to eat the plant, but not the fruit of the plant. Get what I mean? So, you know, somebody eventually, you know, knuckled down and went and do it. I mean, think about Star Trek's uh, transporter technology. Eventually, someone had to volunteer to be transported or be volunteered. Now, I can think of a wonderful use for prisoners, but that's not exactly ethical. So, you get a volunteer. Now, admittedly, if the guy's on death row, 
Would you care to volunteer for a potentially deadly scientific experiment? I mean, I know you said you're a born-again Christian. Do you want to contribute before you get put away by the state? <laughs> I don't know. I, giving them the option of participating might be interesting. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't make it contingent on anything, but still. It, it's, it's just the taste it leaves in my mouth when, when I read things like this. You, you know... You either have, when it comes to t transporter technology, you either have the guy who believes in it and has worked on it his entire life and says, I'll be the first man, you know, transported across the room, a la Watson and, um, and, uh, uh Bell. And, you know, it, that, that's one of those things, you know, the, you'll have that guy who believes in something so much and he'll volunteer for the, to do it. That's, that's the sacrifice. That's progress. Then there's also the intern, the lowly intern whose work has always been thankless and gets volunteered like some guinea pig thrown onto the transporter pad and said, good luck. Here's hoping you come out the other side. I'll take care of your mom in case you don't make it. Boop. You know, uh, you have that kind of progress. Either way, something's going to happen. We're going to figure something out because of that. Now, I'm not saying there isn't any fruit of the poisonous tree kind of thing, um, but there is a certain level of gain from sacrifices in progress. I'm not entirely sure if I came across clearly in this concept here, and I've gone on for like seven minutes now, but I, I don't know why it's so hard for people to grasp this. Or at least the perception that it is hard for people to grasp this. When you sit someone down and you talk to them rationally and you say, look, it's a dangerous world out there. We live in comfort now, but can you imagine the way it was before modern medicine hit? People did not live as long as they used to, and people would die from trivial injuries. I mean, for God's sake, there used to be bloodletting. Now, admittedly, there still is the occasional bloodletting, but that's in relation to other things. Maybe. Leeches help, sometimes. Um, I don't know. It's it's the signs of progress at, that you're going to have people sacrificing to get things done, whether it's their lives or their time. You know, the man throws his entire life into researching something, and then someone else picks it up or drops it. You know, that happens. But... There's also, with progress comes the people who are scared of it. And those are the people who irritate me the most. Yeah, I understand wanting to hold on to things the way they are just a little longer, maybe. But eventually, we are going to have to do something and go somewhere. You know, it's kind of like, you can't live your entire life in your house. Occasionally, you do need to go out and get some sun. By the way, the weather has been great lately. I think that's enough of me ranting at the camera for today. So, um, yeah. Until next time, think forward, and please, if someone finds a way to get into space for cheap, effectively, and um, uh, efficiently and safely and all that stuff, and can commercialize it, I would totally love to go up into space so I could look upon the Earth and see things the way God intended. No borders anywhere. Until next time.